Let's see how you can self-host your font using the new Next font package in Next.js 13 to improve your core web vitals by preventing cumulative layout shift that typically happens when you're loading fonts from an external hosting service like Google Fonts. Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Hamed. I'm a full stack web developer and here on this channel, we talk about modern web dev topics like React and Next.js. To get started, I've created a new Next.js app by running npx create next app. And right now we're using the system fonts by default as the font family of our site. Now, if you wanted to add a different font, in this case, I've chosen Montserrat from Google Fonts. The recommended way is to just get these links and create an underscore document JSX, which is a custom document. So if you head to Next.js documentation, you can see this custom document section where you can create this function, which represents your <coughs> HTML document file. And it gives you access to different components on that HTML file where you can, for example, have a different head tag inserted here. Um, and then you would go ahead and copy this links you got from Google Fonts into the head tag of your document. Now, just a quick note over here. Let me just fix this. Uh, this head tag from next document is a different component. It's coming from next document. This is a different component from the ones that you typically see on at the page level. For example, here at the home page, we also have this head component, which is coming from next head. So it's not recommended to paste any style sheet or links to your fonts inside of this head component in your pages. Rather, it's better to have it in your underscore document JSX or JS or TSX, which is your custom document file. So once you've done that, you can just go back to your styles. Let me just open up our page over here. So I'm going to go back to my styles and I'm going to define Montserrat over here. So Montserrat. And if I refresh our fonts, as you can see here on the right hand side, change to Montserrat. This is technically working, but the problem is when a user visits your site, they're going to be shown the fallback font first. And then once your custom font is finished loading, the fonts are going to swap, which causes some layout shift on the page. Uh, you can read about this cumulative layout shift and, and how fonts can uh, contribute to this problem and how this is one of the core web vitals Google is now taking into account when uh, ranking sites. I'm going to include a link in the description for this. But basically, because you're swapping fonts, uh, depending on how different those fonts are from each other, uh, the user is going to experience some layout shift. Now let's see how we can use the new Next font package to solve this problem. First things first, we need to install the package because it's not included in the core Next.js package. So we're going to install Next for slash font. And let me just rerun my dev server. Let's actually go to our underscore document uh, JSX and remove this links that we created. So we're back to the default font for the, the system font. Now, the way that we should use this next font package is that we can import any of the Google fonts directly here as uh, an NPM package. So Montserrat, Montserrat from uh, the next font for slash Google. So we have access to all of these fonts over here. Let me just create a local font over here, Montserrat. And I'm going to call this font as a function and we can pass in some options over here. For example, I can limit this to a subset of only uh, Latin characters. Um, we, can uh, we can also pass in weights over here. So if you wanna pass in different weights, you can. Uh, in the case of Montserrat, it's a variable font, so I don't need to specify this, but if it wasn't, I would have just passed in different fonts. So that's the first step. Then uh, what's left to do is I'm going to wrap my app component with a main tag, 
where I can set some classes. So I will pass in class name and I'm going to use this local font I created and access the class name property on it. Sorry, which gives me, uh, as you can see, as I refresh the page, the Montserrat came back into play. Uh, with the difference that now we're locally hosting this Montserrat file and this package actually goes ahead and preloads the fonts for you and configs the cell to cache. So there's a lot going on to optimize your fonts on your site. So the user experiences the least amount of cumulative layout shift possible uh, when uh, you're using any custom fonts. This is not limited to Google fonts. You could really use any other custom fonts that you have locally. So all you need to do is to import this local font function from the package and call it and pass it a source pointing to where that font is living inside of your application. Now, what if you were using Tailwind CSS in your application? Let me just show you how you would do that. First, let me just install Tailwind here. So we're going to go to the documentation. We're going to go to frameworks and under Next.js, you can just install the dependencies required. So let me just copy this, stop the dev server. Once the dependencies are installed, you have to run NPX Tailwind in it to initialize uh, some config for your project. You can then copy this Tailwind config from here. So let me just replace the content with this. This is for when you're using a source component or source folder. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go to our styles and we're going to remove everything and set some Tailwind directives to reset everything back and now we should be done. So you can see that Tailwind has take effect and basically reset the styles of our page over here. Now to make this work with Tailwind CSS, there's a couple of steps we need to take. We're going to first define a custom CSS variable on our font, let's say font Montserrat. And instead of accessing the class name on that font, we're going to pass in that variable to our main tag. We're going to go back to our Tailwind config CSS and we're going to use that custom CSS variable we just created to create a new utility class with a font name that we want so that we can use that font name throughout our application. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend the font families here. We're going to define, uh, let's say, a new font called Montserrat here and we're going to use this uh, custom CSS variable we just defined on our tag and we're going to default to sans serif. Now, once I save this, you, can't, you don't see any changes on the application because we haven't used this anywhere. But right now, if I just go ahead and make this a um, string template, I should be able to come in here and add some Tailwind classes. So let's say font. And as you can see right now, in my Tailwind utility classes, I have this font Montserrat. So I'm going to use that. And once I do that, it turns back into the Montserrat font. So once again, how we did this is we created a custom variable with this next font package. We passed that variable to our main tag. We then use that custom variable we set in our Tailwind config to create a new utility class for our fonts that extends the font families in Tailwind. So we can use this font Montserrat on our main tag over here like so, like any other fonts that Tailwind already comes with to uh, wrap our whole component and, and affect all the fonts in our Next.js app. That's a wrap for this video, folks. I hope you learned how easily you can self-host your fonts with the new Next font package in Next.js 13 to improve your core web virals and really the user experience by preventing the cumulative layout shift. If you have any questions, hit them in the comments for me. Give this a video a like and subscribe to the channel for more contents like this. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.